The resolution approved by the Assembly is designed to put the brakes on proposed changes to civil service rules, rules that determine how public employees are hired, fired and promoted. We wanted to make sure that uh, we continued the tradition and according to the Constitution which requires that we promote people based on their merit and fitness. This system protects employees and democracy, says Hetty Rosenstein, state director of the Communications Workers of America, and she fears these safeguards would be eliminated if the Civil Service Commission moves forward with a plan to group jobs together called banding. You could take two jobs and put them together, or you could put 200 jobs together here. And you put them all together and then you have a range of pay and then management gets to decide who falls where within that job band. There's no way of really even knowing who's doing the job and what job they're doing or why they should get paid that. There's no actual ranking, even though they talk about it, there's no ranking, there's no way of knowing who's most meritorious. I think that the civil service is protected by our constitution, but it's a very broad statement. We're not changing anything that says that you will no longer be covered by civil service. We're just changing the rules so as to provide for a more efficient workplace. And Carol says changing the rules could give managers more flexibility to move employees to another position without taking an exam. We do need a greater flexibility in civil service. Uh, the simple fact of the matter is, is that, uh, generally speaking, all jobs should be filled on the basis of merit. Uh, that's great with respect to a test, but sometimes things can't be tested for. So uh, I'm willing to trust the people who are at the high levels, the management, to choose those employees which, who are best capable of doing the job. Rosenstein calls the proposed changes unconstitutional and claims they could open the door to cronyism and other abuses. It is open season on public sector jobs. Uh, in state government, and you're talking about at that point a uh, tremendous amount of possibility for discrimination, cronyism, nepotism, all of the things that the civil service system is designed to prevent. The governor has made it clear he wants changes to New Jersey's civil service rules. The resolution has to be approved by the Senate and signed by the governor, which seems uncertain. At the State House, I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.